Paimon doesn't see anyone. Oh, please don't let this be a trap. <laughs> what was that? Good evening. Nice to see you again. Oh, it's you. You shouldn't pop up from behind people like that. What are you, a ghost? I'm terribly sorry. It's just a force of habit. Oh, and what's with you apologizing all the time? You sound so polite and honest, but you're actually doing shady stuff behind people's backs. You're right. Granny tells me that too. Huh. Come to think of it, you remind me of her. Sometimes you two sound really similar, you know. Oh, so you're gonna call Paimon Granny too now? Well, I could. Hmm. It's all clear. Over to you. Excellent. The fact that you showed up proves that I was right about your character. Yet, there's been a lot of talk about you. Child told me that you're passionate about the unknown and willing to take risks. Rather than facing you as an enemy, I would much prefer to bring you to my side. If we allow the current state of things to continue, we will inevitably clash. And that's a scenario that I'd very much like to avoid. I've long heard of your exploits across the nations. Though you have crossed swords with my colleagues many times, I know that you are by no means an unreasonable person. And once you've learned the truth that the Pyro Archon Mauwika would never willingly share with you, you may just find it in your heart to consider my proposal. I assume you've already been informed of the Pyro Archon's plan. In order to defeat the Abyss and save Natlan, she still needs two more heroes to appear. Wait, how did you know that? Uh, never mind. Guess that's not important now. I've long kept a close eye on her plan. To be frank, it's an exceedingly risky plan. Will the heroes really appear? And even if they come to her, will their power be enough to drive the Abyss back? If any part of the plan goes awry, all of Natlan, even all of Tavat, will pay for her mistakes. Now, you may have been led to believe that this is the only plan available to her. But what if I told you she's had another emergency plan all along, the details of which she has chosen to keep hidden from you? An emergency plan? Yes. A way to keep Natlan intact, even if her original plan fails. But given the painful cost of its execution, she has chosen to keep it as a mere backup plan. Whether this stems from hesitation, fear, or even naivete, I cannot say. But Natlan cannot afford to wait until she comes to her senses. My fear is that given the enormity of the decision, she will be reluctant to confront the dire reality we face until it is too late. There will be no time left to execute the backup plan, and all of Natlan will be lost to the abyss. We have to make the decision for her, here and now. Yeah, do you have any evidence for all this? Just telling us a bunch of scary stuff isn't enough, you know. Besides, wasn't it you who tried to seize the Gnosis for the Tsaritsa plan? I knew you'd be clever enough to see. That's right. I did not seek the Gnosis for the Tsaritsa. Since I was defeated in battle, 
I must put to rest my thoughts about the Gnosis. But even so, my desire to save Natlan remains unchanged. And now, I have found a new way to solve the crisis. We can implement it immediately if we reach an agreement. <clears throat> oh, someone's here. Huh? The captain disappeared! Something is rapidly approaching. Oh no. Something! Bad news, chump! It's your granny! <sighs> See, Lolly! When did you get here? <sighs> I knew something was amiss after we were separated. Hidden ceremonial tools, an unconscious traveler. I must say, I'm very curious about what you're up to. How dare you go behind our backs like this, Auroron? Colluding with the Fatui? Really? Uh. Oh, here we go again! Cat got your tongue, huh? You really think you can avoid a scolding just by staying quiet? I'm not trying to avoid anything. Oh! And now you're talking back! Well, go on then. Explain yourself. What the heck are you up to? I'm sorry, Granny. I feel so guilty. Ugh, you! That's it! Where are my tools? I swear, if I don't teach you a lesson right here and now, I'll... Uh, wait, see, Lolly! Please, calm down. We, uh, still learned a lot of info, didn't we? Like the fact that the Captain isn't trying to seize the Gnosis anymore. Maybe just save the scolding for later, okay? Ugh, listen well, Auroron. You're only getting out of this now because of the Traveler's plea. This isn't over. You hear me? Ugh, you're right, Traveler. Let's go. We can discuss this more back in the city. You two keep an eye on Auroron for me, okay? My years. I've never had a child cause me so much grief. Do you seriously not see what's at stake here? You've got a head on your shoulders, Auroron. Y Why did you help the captain? And I want the truth this time. Uh. <laughs> no answer? Think you're being smart? <sighs> then let me ask a different question. What does the captain want? What is his purpose in Natlan? Uh. <sighs> really? You're just going to stonewall me? Uh. <sighs> just use your brain for a second. What do you possibly stand to gain by helping the captain? Only endless trouble awaits you and everyone in the tribe. You've always been a good kid. Why would you throw that all away now? If you're worried about something, just talk to me. Granny would much rather we had a conversation instead of constantly clashing like this. Um... Uh... Why is he... I'm sorry that you have to hear all this. Indeed. It's like going to visit a friend at his house, only to suddenly hear your friend berating a naughty Saurian. Well, that's... an oddly specific analogy. Wait, did one of your friends really do that? Yes. 
And every time my friends scolded his Saurians, they would look at me the same way you're looking at me now. Helpless and embarrassed. Wait, but you're the one getting your head chewed off. Stop making this about us! Uh, indeed, you've got a point. Then please just hang in there for a little while longer. Granny should be done with her scolding session soon. Oh? You dare gossip between yourselves instead of listening to me? You! Uh, sorry, sorry, Granny. <sighs> sorry, Granny! <laughs> sorry, Granny! You know what? Fine. I'm perfectly aware that everything I say goes in one ear and out the other. You're all grown up now, so why would you listen to an old hag like me? You say all the right things, but then you go and completely ignore me! Well, if that's how you're going to treat me, you can stop sending Aoife over to my place to deliver your stupid vegetables! I don't need anything from you! Um, who's Aoife? <sighs> that's irrelevant. The point is, he hangs out with this kid, so he must be no good. <sighs> you kids get to a certain age and suddenly act like you know it all. There's nothing I can say to get through to you. Auroron, if you're still thinking about that so-called duty, then please, just forget about it. The ley lines did not fall to this state because of you. And we've long closed the book on that incident. Uh, seems they've started talking about some kind of tribal history. That's not it, Granny. I know you tend to get down on yourself when you're upset, but I can tell I really hurt you this time. All I can say is I'm sorry. His voice... Auroron! Where have you gone? It sounds like he's somewhere super far away, but isn't he right here in front of us? I'm really sorry. It's up to all of us to do everything we can to save Natlin. So I've gotta go. Get back here this instant! Auroron! Ugh, what is this? Powder from plant spores? Is that the trick he used? What just happened? How was he able to suddenly get so far away like- oh, It's a trick of his! If you grind spores into a powder and spray it in the air, it can be manipulated to create an illusion. He pulled it off flawlessly. He must have put a lot of time into perfecting it. Don't tell me that's how he's been hunting in the fields these days. Oh, couldn't he have picked up something more useful? Ugh, little brat. That's it. The next time we meet, I'm definitely going to break his legs. Whoa, that's a little extreme. <laughs> but still, why does he feel like he needs to run from us? If his goal is also to protect Natland, then can't we work together? Uh, I'm sorry for interrupting your conversation with them earlier. But even if you'd been able to hear them out, there's no guarantee you would have gained anything substantial. Auroron probably did everything he could to get away because he knew I'd get the truth out of him sooner or later. Ah, oh, that brat. I swear. Ugh. <sighs> Uh, we've got quite a long walk back to the city. Let's take our time. It'll give me a moment to figure out how to explain all this. Something you wish to report? Go on. You have my undivided attention. To have some time? Feeling hungry? How about we get something to eat? Alright, it's been a while since we last ate. Now that we can relax, Paimon just realized how hungry she is. Uh, then let's go. We can find somewhere to sit down and talk. Food and drinks are on me. Uh, how did this become Paimon's bill? Uh, see, Lolly, 
really looks quite down on herself. All right, all right. It's on Paimon this time. What's one meal to the best guide into that? So you can just sit back and enjoy, Sweet Lolly. Paimon... Hey, come on now. You won't even let me take you out for some food and drinks? <sighs> I just wanted to treat you to a meal. Uh, are you sure? We can save you some Mora! <laughs> Uh, Mora is the least of my concerns. Besides, we're definitely due a meal after all the time we've spent together. Let me get this one. I might be an old hag, but I like to think I'm not completely useless. Sure, that's fine with us, but... Paimon doesn't want you to be sad, Seat Lolly. <laughs> don't worry. I'm sure a juicy grilled steak will work wonders. Do you see two people standing by the door? They look like spitting images of each other. Are they twins? But Paimon only sees one person. Huh? Oh, how could that be? Uh, I guess my mind isn't as sharp as it used to be. Give me another bottle, boss. She's drunk. There you go, miss. Oh my! It's not every day you get to see Granny Itzli here with some friends. Not to mention ones who've made a huge name for them. Oh, so you've heard of them? Of course I have. Aren't you the ones who saved Kachina and brought her back? No wonder you hit it off with Granny Seed Lolly. She wouldn't spend time with just anybody, you know. I don't even remember the last time I saw her with a new friend. Wait, so you call... Well, given our ages, it'd probably be more accurate for me to call her my great-great-granny. <laughs> She's one of the most famous people at the Masters of the Night Wind. Most days, hardly anyone even dares talk to her. Huh? Gossiping about me right in front of my face now, are you, Chanka? He's Granny. I wouldn't dare. I'm just beyond happy to see you bring over some new friends. After all, any friends of our regulars are sure to be great customers, too. All right, that's enough. Go on now. I'm sure the other customers would like to talk to you as well. There's no need to keep staring at me. I promise I'll keep my alcohol down until I leave. <laughs> Well then, you have my thanks. Seat Lolly? Seat Lolly? Uh, who's that? Uh, you got some gall calling me by my first name. <laughs> Uh, let me guess. You want to test your skills against Granny Eatsley, don't ya? Uh, are you still with the Seat Lolly? You're kinda talking to no one. <sighs> you 
you chumps come around here? Picking fights with me? Well, you know what happens next. You lose, and then run off home to tell everyone about how I'm this big scary bully. It's always the same story. You brats start it, I finish it, and then I end up with the reputation of being some kind of terrible monster among the shamans. I mean, come on, monster? Me? Really? What did I do to deserve that? Rainy Seat Lolly, you're not a monster at all. Exactly. And while we're at it, I'm not some lazy slacker either. Between meditation, advising the chief, and speaking with the Wyub, I actually have a pretty packed schedule, you know. <laughs> oh yeah. And I have to mentor all the new kids. Hey, new kid. Yeah, you. Uh, don't play dumb. Didn't I teach you how to find Float Justin? You see? I know my stuff. I'm a good teacher. Oh, that's more like it. About dang time someone showed me a little respect. Yeah, Granny's a hard worker, all right. You can always rely on old Granny. <laughs> <sighs> Behind this pitch black curtain, a chapter of hatred reveals itself. Behind the smoke, the lingering smoke. Ah, she's meditating again. She does this whenever she's had a few too many drinks. Her mind's actually racing at this point. It's quite the opposite of sleep. Is this another specialty of the Masters of the Nightwing? No, I'd say it's an ability that's unique to Sitlali herself. While she can easily pick up everyone else's skills and tricks, few have been able to master hers. Warning, warning. Red, red, the color of danger, has now arisen within that pair of eyes. Huh? <laughs> Uh, traveler? Paimon? What's wrong? Uh, 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 I'm gonna hurl. Hang on, just keep it in. Uh, uh, phew. Okay, it's passed. Uh, that was a- You had Paimon worried. Paimon really thought you were about to barf all over the table just now. How embarrassing. I'm sorry you had to see me like that. That's never happened before, I swear. I've never thrown up, not once. Are you feeling okay? One uh, uh, there's so much that I want to say, but I can't. Why not? Of course you can. Just say whatever's on your mind. Uh, please, Paimon. It's not as simple as you think. We've only known each other for a few days, right? What would you think of me if I were to start dumping all of my complaints on you after we've only just met? Oh, Paimon gets it. You're hoping that we wouldn't think less of you no matter what you're about to say. Uh, no, that wasn't my point at all! Seriously, don't you youngsters know anything about shame? I'm talking about shame! I've lived all these years and still can't get rid of it! Surely, you know the feeling, too? Um... Actually? <laughs> about that.
huh? Tell me what? Yeah, this is as good a time as any. So, you heard. You heard my. It's okay, Sea Lolly. You had every right. <sighs> I can't take it anymore! Why do these things happen to me? <sighs> hearing me mumble under my breath is one thing, but hearing what I mumble in my own head? That's too much! It's just like when you're rolling on the floor in your pajamas, but you forget to lock the door, and someone bursts in to deliver cabbages and sees the whole thing! So that, uh... It happens to people in general, okay? Doesn't matter if you're 200 years old or a thousand years old. Everyone rolls around in their pajamas sometimes. I was just picking something... generic. <sighs> Take a walk with me. I have things to share with you. Looks like she's completely given up. Like those criminals who just confess everything and accept their fate. Great view, right? I love coming here by myself. Wow, it's beautiful! <laughs> You're making me want to cry. Oh no, what do we do? Please don't cry! I was an expression, okay? A figure of speech. I'm just... <sighs> embarrassed. Here you are thanking me. Even after you helped me, let's just have a casual conversation. It's easiest. Really? You don't seem like- Well, I guess I used to be more of a- And you're right. I don't usually open up to the people of my tribe like this. I'm just an eccentric old hag to them. That story's been passed down so long. What? You're just a regular person? <laughs> The kids of my tribe would have a heart attack if they heard you say that. Granny Eatsley is a powerful figure. Be careful around her. That's what they'd say. Well, you are powerful. Are they afraid of you? Uh, some are. Others are mad I always come out on top. A few decades like that. And people stop knowing how to deal with you. What about you? Are you scared of me? We don't find you scary at all. Huh. <laughs> That's because you're not from my tribe. You don't know how many delusions of grandeur I've destroyed just by existing. 
I make people realize that no matter how hard they work, they'll never become a living legend like me. Oh, uh, not to brag or anything. <laughs> Maybe it's hard to believe. Just... Just pretend I never said anything. We believe you. Shilonen has full faith in your abilities, and Aurora didn't seem scared of you. He thinks of you as his granny, right? Yes, but Auroron's a special- Mauika already told you about her plan. And you've given so much help to Auroron and me. You deserve to learn the full trick. Auroron's not like other people. The reason being, his soul is incomplete. The masters of the Nightwind view this as a bad omen. Capable of bringing about illness and misfortune. No one knows who his parents were. He was just left on a rock in the wilderness. It's a miracle he wasn't devoured by some wild beast. The Masters of the Nightwind believe they can see human souls. And in Auroron's incomplete soul, they saw a possibility for Natlan. A possibility to turn Auroron into a vessel for lost souls. The ceremony would allow lost souls to gather within him. Auroron would then be sent to the Night Kingdom to return the souls to their rightful place, strengthening the ley lines and completing the ceremony. Wait, that doesn't sound right. Now you see the prop. When damage occurs to the Night Kingdom, the souls held within disperse and remain adrift, unable to find a way back to the ley lines. This loss of souls damages the Night Kingdom even further. The ceremony can send back countless souls at once, which would benefit the Night Kingdom and the souls themselves. Of course, the vessel, Auroron, would be sacrificed in the process. I wasn't surprised the Chief at the time came up with the plan. The ley lines were already in a terrible state. A suitable candidate for the ceremony appears? And now you have the chance to make things better. Of course you're going to take it. When the chief asked for my opinion, I didn't give my approval, but I didn't object either. So they went ahead with the ceremony. It failed, and Auroron escaped with his life. <laughs> Pathetic, isn't it? By not objecting, I basically gave them the go-ahead. Maybe they didn't have my explicit approval, but it's not like I did the right thing. If the ceremony was successful, Auroron would probably be dead. Of course, in my tribe, death is rarely something to fear. But what kind of message would we be sending by sentencing a newborn to death? It's not right! So, when I learned the ceremony had failed, I was ashamed by my inaction. And absolutely, the plan was never a secret. Or, I guess I should say, there was no point to keeping it a secret. A simple investigation from Auroron would reveal everything. Everyone thought he would be happy he survived. And he never really said anything to the contrary. But just as I was about to put all of it behind me, he asks this question. Would Natlan have- Wait! Wait! He knows that. But he still feels guilty. Auroron has a strong ability to perceive souls more than any of us. He understands just how dire the situation with ley lines has become. Maybe he chose to work with the Fatui 
because he still thinks he owes a debt to Natlan. I can only imagine what they told him. Traveler, didn't the captain say he found a way to solve the crisis? Anyway, we can't just let things go on like this. We have to convince him to come back. I... Uh, you don't look so good, Seat Lolly. Maybe you should have... Uh, probably drank too much. <laughs> it's okay. Uh, the fresh air is due... <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, forget that. I need to go home. <laughs> I hit it a little too hard. <laughs> Uh, you've helped me. Hey, we're friends, aren't we? Besides, you already said you owe us a favor, so you don't need to worry about us. Uh, good point. Well, I'll go home and get some sleep. We can figure out our next move in the morning. Friends. <laughs> I like the sound of that. Auroran's probably back with the captain, don't you think? You mean about the backup plan? Do you really believe what the captain told us? Yeah, you're right. We but she's probably asleep. We Off we go. You're already here. Wow, you're up early. That's impressive. Let's not bring up last night. I'm embarrassed about the whole thing. Anyway, I was also woken up by the commotion. Looks like all the warriors from the stadium are on the move. I heard many areas have been attacked by the Abyss, including the... The Abyss attacked again? Are you sure you can handle... I'll be fine. We also have the support of the warriors stationed at the various outposts. Given the stadium could always use more manpower... So you should I'm done making excuses for him. He's not a child anymore. He needs to take respons- I was the one who vouched for him. So I need to report back to the speaker's chamber. I'll accept however they- But I should be able to convince them to let me go back to my tri- As for the ancient name. Once we handle this crisis, I'll talk to Shilonen right away. Don't worry. I never forget a promise to a friend. Thank you. All right, I need to start heading back. She left in a hurry. The situation must be really serious. Uh, oh, looks like a lot of people are heading to the stadium. Let's see what's going on. 